today I'm going to be talking about and reviewing the Urban Decay Naked 2 eyeshadow palette. Now this came out uh, late last year. Um, Urban Decay actually kind of surprised everyone with its launch. As soon as they, you know, as soon as we heard about it, it was already for sale, which was pretty interesting. I had to wait until it was online um, at Sephora to order it, and it was, and I ordered it as soon as I could, and so now here it is. I know it's not brand new news anymore, um, but I still wanted to get it for you guys and review it because of how successful the first one was, and I know everyone really wants to know, are they different, do I need both, and I will go over that in this video. So this is the packaging. Um, this is the back and it has all of the colors, a little bit of a description about it. And this palette actually comes with the uh, a little mini lip junky lip gloss in Naked. And it's pretty small. Um, it is 0.11 ounces. So it's really tiny. I'll show you. It looks really cool. It's just like a squeezy top lip gloss. It smells like mint. I'm not really a fan of the mint. It's, it smells, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not a fan of this smell of mint. There are some mint smells that I really love, but this one just, it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but uh, unfortunately I'm not really a fan of the lip gloss. Really wish they would have included like a mini primer potion because I love the Urban Decay primer potion. Um, the original came with the original set. It would have been maybe nice to see like Greed or Sin or, um, Eden to come in this kit. That would have been nice. Here's the palette. Now there's definitely some major differences in the packaging compared to the first one. This is the first one. It is kind of in like a velvet case. This is the second one. It is in a kind of plasticky uh, hard shell case. This one is just a magnetic open like that. And this one actually has um, snaps. So if you can see right on the side, the palette actually snaps close. Now that is much easier for traveling and you don't have to worry about them as much, but I just find it to be a pain. I'm not a fan of the um, clasped shut. As for the hard shell case, I do like the hard shell case. As you can see, this one is completely, you know, almost worn out and like it gets really dirty really fast. So this one I think will look a lot cleaner and last, you know, kind of be a little bit more durable. So I do like that about it. The last difference is that the mirror on the Naked palette is pretty small and on the Naked 2 it's really really big. So I love that. I love having this big mirror. It makes it so much easier to do my makeup and I even use it to like check my hair and stuff like that because it's such a, you know, it's a nice big mirror. The original came with a double-ended 24-7 eyeliner in Zero and Bourbon, which is a black and a brown, and it went, you know, right here. This one comes with a eyeshadow brush, as you can see. Um, I think that you would probably prefer the eyeliner because it's another product, and if you're like me, I don't need any more brushes, but I do actually really like this brush. Um, one end is kind of like a flat eye, uh, shader and the other one is like a fluffy blending brush. And I've actually been using this double-ended brush to apply, you know, my makeup every day with this palette. Um, I just really like it. I find that it goes on really nicely. It blends them well. I don't need another brush. It probably would have been nice to have, you know, an actual eyeliner in there, but I'm, you know, I'm not complaining too much about that. So those are the major structural differences about the palettes. Now let's go over the actual shades. I'm not going to swatch them all because that would take a really long time and I have swatches of them all on my blog so you can visit the link below and you can see them all. These are the shades. Um, they're all very neutral shades. Now I'm not, I don't really agree with people who are saying that one is more cool toned, one is more warm toned. I think that they both have warm and cool tones in them. Um, they both have a lot of shimmery, frosty shades. I do believe that Naked 2 has, I would say, one, two, three mattes, and the original only has two mattes. So if you are a fan of mattes or you do like that, then you'll probably like the Naked 2 more. Naked 2 has a matte black, which I'm a big fan of because it's actually a really, really good matte black. Um, it's very pigmented, it's very smooth and blends easily, and looks black. Creep in the first Naked palette is a little bit of a shimmery one. It's got a bit of glitter in it, so, you know, I mean, I just feel like there's too much shimmer and too much glitter going on. 
I think probably one of the smartest things that Urban Decay could have done would have been taking the same palette or a very similar palette and coming out with all matte or satin shades. Then everyone would need it. Um, in my opinion, you do not need both of these palettes. They're very, very similar. I think that they are both gorgeous eyeshadow palettes. Um, if I did have to choose a favorite, I would say that the Naked 2 would be my favorite out of the two. They're both really nice. I love them both. I do not regret getting both because I'm a neutral fanatic and I use the Naked palette a lot. Um, but I just tend to like the Naked 2 more simply because it does have three matte shades so it's much easier to work with and do a full eye. Um, some of the shades I just like a little bit more. Um, Booty Call I like more than Virgin. Uh, Pistol and Verve I'm really really a fan of. I just, I mean, I could go on. I do love all the shades, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't think you need both. So if you have the Naked 1 palette, you don't need the Naked 2. It is nice to have if you can, you know, afford it, or if you really, really like neutrals, then go for it. If you don't have Naked 1, I definitely suggest Naked 2 because it is my favorite out of the two. It's absolutely gorgeous. You're going to get a lot of use out of it. Um, and yeah, that's just my opinion. In terms of the quality of the eyeshadows, they're all really good. There wasn't any that stood out as kind of substandard to the other ones. I really like them all. I'm personally a fan of frosty eyeshadow shades for the lid. Um, and so that's why I really do love the Naked palette because I get a lot of use out of them. I'm very much a put a wash of color on the lid and that's it for my everyday look. So that's why I really like this one. If you prefer matte or satin colors, you're probably not going to get the most use out of it just because there is only three shades. One of them is black. So there's not a whole lot that you can do with it. So in terms of cost, this is $50 US and $60 Canadian, which is, you know, a pretty big price for an eyeshadow palette, but you do get 12 gorgeous shades. So that is something to think about. There is quite a bit of product in it. I have had the original Naked palette for over a year now, and I still have tons and tons left. Like, I don't think I'll ever go through this, especially now that I have Naked too. Um, but, you know, I do use it a lot, some more than others, but it's definitely my favorite eyeshadow palette, and so you will get a lot of use out of it. If you would like to see more swatches and photos, I've got tons on my blog. You can check it out. The link will be below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and I will talk to you later. Bye.